Kerrick Moody, believed to have been killed alongside his sister Kanisha by gangsters who recorded the act, had a strong bond with his sister, expressing a belief they would likely die together. Kerrick's affection for Kanisha was so profound that he disregarded his mother's warnings to stay away from her. The mother, Stephanie Edwards, revealed Kerrick's unwavering commitment to his sister, even expressing that he would die if anything happened to her. The family is anxiously awaiting confirmation from the police about the discovery of the siblings' bodies after they were reported missing from their St. Elizabeth home. Stephanie Edwards suspects that they are the victims in a circulating video on social media. The mourning mother, Stephanie Edwards, expressed regret, stating, Had he stayed with me in Grange Hill, he would still be alive. She was unaware of her son's involvement in criminal activity before his disappearance. As a single mother of five, Edwards worked odd jobs to support her family, encouraging her children to find employment for a better life. She emphasized that her disapproval of illegal activities was known to her children. She lamented that if Kerrick had listened and sought employment, he would be safe today. The 54-year-old mother, Stephanie Edwards, revealed her efforts to guide Kerrick encouraging him to enroll in Heart Trust to learn a skill and even buying him clothes for classes. Despite his dreams of becoming an architect and being skilled in welding and drawing, Kerrick did not follow through on exams during the COVID-19 pandemic. The police said he was not on their radar, although his sister, Kanisha, was on bail for illegal possession of ammunition. Kanisha had been charged previously as a member of the King Valley Gang in Grange Hill, later acquitted. Deputy Superintendent of Police, DSP, Adrian Hamilton, emphasized the ongoing search for the siblings and efforts to dismantle gangs. He appealed to young individuals in Grange Hill and Westmoreland to refrain from associating with or supporting criminal activities. The tragic video, feared to depict the siblings' murder, circulated shortly after the declaration of a state of public emergency in Westmoreland due to increased criminal activity. DSP Hamilton highlighted Westmoreland's alarming murder rate, with 112 recorded murders this year, 23 fewer than the same period last year. He expressed concerns about a murder culture in the parish, where people resort to violence for trivial reasons.